Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today I want to showcase how beneficial it can be to have a spotting build on your medium tank if you end up in a game in which there's no light tank at all. Let's go. Recently I had the impression that there are more and more games in which you have either multiple light tanks, sometimes even 3 or 4 on each side, or there's no light tank at all. In such a situation you can shine if you are in a medium tank and if you have a spotting build available. In this video I want to show you how beneficial this setup can be. So my recommendation for you is play your favorite medium tank long enough to unlock the second equipment build using the field modifications and set up your medium tank with a spotting build. As the most important thing in a third person shooter like World of Tanks is spotting, this can really make the difference as I will show you in the next three games. Alright, Murovanka first game and if you take a look at the matchmaking then you will see that there is no light tank in the game. So I'm playing with my concept 5 and due to the fact that there is no light tank in the game I decide to use my spotting equipment in order to fulfill the role of a let's say medium light hybrid. So here you go, that's what I'm going to do and um, I will try to spot for my team and let's see how it goes. In my opinion this is a valuable or a, um, an, yeah, a great option um, in such a situation and you can um, basically set up a spotting build for all of your medium tanks. Now the Concept 5 is not the best spotter per se for example compared to the Leopard 1. However, you can nevertheless use this tank as a spotter with such a build in such a situation. So I want to go to this position and then simply come to a standstill, make sure that I will not get spotted from other tanks. I think I have to align my turret with the bush in order to as I said, not get spotted. So okay, can I get a shot onto the Panzer 7? Maybe if he goes into the bush, into this bush once again. Maybe a shot onto the... Ah, oh, here go. Nice. So let's see. Let's maybe track him. Here you go. That's what I want to see. And instantaneously 1000 assisting damage. That's what I want to see. And due to the, to the fact that we were standing in a bush and the leopard was also standing in a bush. We had a double bush situation, so we did not even get spotted. Excellent. Okay, we do not hit the shot onto the MVY tank. But I think this position is great in order to go in or another shot which doesn't make any damage. This position is great in order to spot the adversary tanks, and it looks like all the other adversary medium tanks, all the TVP T50s are not, and also the Leopard 1 and the CS63 are not using a spotting build, so that's why I can shine in this situation. Now on Muravanka, in my opinion, this middle, this, what is it, E7 position is critical to gain map control on one or the other side, so it should definitely play it by a light tank if there's a light tank in the game and if there's no light tank in the game you can have a distinct advantage if you are playing this position for example in your concept 5 with a spotting build so that's why i'm playing this um oh, okay i think this shot um did not hit the tvp i um thought he would be standing a bit more to the right let's see maybe onto the leopard yep we can take out the leopard one nice He's blind firing me or, or uh, some, some other tanks are blind firing my position. Now this is a, um, a very, I would say, static gameplay. However, once again, this position is critical in order to um, help our team to gain map control. Okay, now our team has won this side of the map. So it is time for us to use our mobility in order to 
uh, keep spotting adversary tanks because uh, keep in mind we want to be the first tank spotting adversary tanks so that we can take them under fire let's do one shot okay unfortunately i do not track this shot and uh, tr do not track th this tank and i need to evade out of the situation because i will otherwise uh, lose too many hp all in all 2100 damage and 2800 spotting damage so yeah um spotting is actually pretty important in world of tanks and i think if you want to for example um get gun marks on your tank then you should be able to also get um assisting damage for example spotting damage in your tank and so i think the spotting role is actually underestimated in world of tanks world of tanks is nothing but an ego shooter in which you have to spot adversary tanks before you can take shots onto them so if you can spot the adversary tanks earlier then your team has your team sorry has a distinct advantage and so in my opinion creating a spotting build for medium tanks is very very intelligent not only to increase your win rate but also to increase your stats in your in your medium tank so and i think this game is a decent result for this um, for this opinion okay so let's uh, focus on the game the game is relatively close um, because we've lost the heavy lane um and of course meanwhile won the medium flank um recade damage for us which is great and now <clears throat> here you go nice okay we get the help of our team excellent so 3k spotting 3.4k damage uh, made from our side and so let's see can we get a shot oh no actually you can get a shot onto us no not not this thing but the tvp t50 so let's see how it goes we want to wait until our wheel is repaired and then we want to try to keep encircling the other tanks okay it's always nice to kill artillery here go ah little low roll here um let's see we certainly do not want to remain spotted um due to the okay come on okay now i need to kill this arty okay revenge is upcoming my friend okay here go and of course i can take him out excellent and oh wow where did this shot go okay huh but you know what he shouldn't have yeah <laughs> he should not have a uh, here you go a chance okay 3.9k damage 3k assisting damage almost 7k combined and i think this game really showed the strength that you can basically add to your medium tank if you are selecting a spotting build in a certain um, situation and in a certain um, yeah, game situation in world of tanks all right second game this time we play with the amx 30 and um, take a look at the matchmaking we are in a tier 10 matchup however there's once again no light tank in the battle and i think pilsen is a map which is less obvious for you in your medium tank to pick the spotting setup but that's what i'm going to do because as you know i like to go to the sorry to the open field at the let's say f8 or e8 position because i think it offers great flexibility not only can i get crossfire to the middle but i can also spot tanks not only in the c8 position so the typical let's say defensive td position of the adversary team but also on the zero lane and to or let's put it like that if you can manage to spot adversary tanks on the zero lane this greatly or significantly increases the chance for your team to win the zero lane which is somewhat important on this map so this is why i um chose the spotting build on this tank the the amx 30 is a, a pretty decent medium tank when it comes to camo value and so it is per se a relatively strong spotter and so my spotting build only includes the cvs um, alongside with of course uh, coated optics but not the um, the uh, exhaust system so um, yeah that's uh, 
my choice for this tank. So my goal here is to proceed into the middle and to spot tanks on the zero lane so that they can be taken under fire from my team from the, for example, J0 position where the Progetto is uh, situated. So let's see how it goes. I try to spot adversary teams um, while playing defensively. This did not work out, so I want to play more offensively. And can I get a shot? Nice. Actually, this... No, actually, I did not hit this tank. Okay. But at least I get spotting damage. 1.1k so far. Okay, okay, perfect. So we got rid of the Char Future 4, which is a very dangerous tank, if you ask me. And here we go. That's what I want to see. This is where coated optics and CBS really works. <coughs> And so I'm uh, continuing to collect um, spotting damage. Excellent. And yeah, once again, collecting spotting damage and spotting for a team is crucial in World of Tanks. And if there's no light tank in the game, then you can shine with um, playing a medium tank, which has a, a spotting setup. Okay, perfect. Next tank that I spot. Excellent, the Centurion Action X. And you know, as he is reversing, I can even play more aggressively and proceed to this proxy spotting position. Nice! And I get all this sweet assisting damage. So far, no damage for myself, but that is alright because I helped my team to win the medium flank with collecting 3100 spotting damage. And um, yeah, so. Another great example, in my opinion, that um, or for playing a, a medium tank a bit more flexible, i.e. to transition to a medium light hybrid in your medium tank in a respective situation where there's no light tank in the team. Okay, perfect. That's what I want to see. First damage for me. And you know what? I want to wait until the Object 705 has now shot. Okay, looks like. Yeah, looks like. <laughs> Looks like the standard B doesn't want to take a shot from the object 704, which is understandable. But I need to fall back so that I also do not get a shot onto my tank. <coughs> Maybe the object 704 does not actually come closer to us. So chances are that this TD has already turned around. Um, but you know what? I do not want to take a shot from this thing, so let's uh, rather focus on this side of the map. Okay, I'm spotted. Here go. Another tank that I can spot, and if I am fully aimed in. Okay, yeah, the gun is obviously not very precise from the AMX uh, 30. This is why on the regular build I use a uh, Bond rotation mechanism in order to increase the gun handling of this tank but um, we managed to get 3.9k spotting damage so that's what we want to see this game is not as close as the first one and so let's uh, proceed further and let's um, see whether we can make more damage now of course I mean in any medium tank that I play, but especially if I play medium tank, which is set up to be the spotter for my team, I want to be the first tank arriving at the adversary position so that I can make sure that I will be the tank uh, which is collecting all the spotting damage. So this is why I'm hurrying up. And of course, um, it is uh, super easy with a tank like the AMX 30, which offers a great speed. But I need to make sure that I am the first tank arriving at the adversary position in order to collect all the assisting damage that I want. So, um, yeah, and um, take a look at the minimap. The Progetto 65 is also advancing. However, um, as I said, I'm the first one. And now, excellent. Next kill. Actually, it's the first kill in this game. And, uh, yeah, so far 4.1k spotting damage. Maybe we can get another shot onto those heavy tanks, but uh, no, it doesn't look like. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Once again, oh, nice. Next kill, so two kills on our side and lovely 5.2k combined and another great example 
of what you can achieve if you select the spotting build on your medium tank. All right, third and last game, once again in the concept five, and we are spawning in tier eight match this time. So we are in a top tier situation, which is great for the concept five. And once again, without a light tank. And so, yes, even on this map, I will take out the spotting build and I will try to spot for my team and help my team to win the medium plank. So as you all know, I like to go to the middle on this map. This is basically where I can not only um, yeah, play the spotting game and try to spot for my team, but I can also get crossfire uh, shots to basically the heavy lane if um, I find that adversary heavy tanks are pushing the middle on the C5 position. Okay, I get spotted here, which is not a problem because I'm fast enough in order to go into this ditch and uh, basically without losing any HP. And so, yes, I'm now waiting 10 seconds until I'm not spotted anymore. And then I go into this bush. Now notice how I... Okay, looks like there's no other tank. So... Okay, a little bit interesting. So let's take a look at the adversary medium tank. So there's the Kunze Panzer, which has already been spotted. There's the Char Future 4, which has not been spotted yet. Looks like looks like this tank is um, somewhere in a bush, but this tank has a great camo value, so it's understandable that this tank does not get spotted even with my spotting build. Looks like our medium tanks are making pressure. Okay, there's the Char Future 4. Nice. And um, so it's time for me to advance. Okay, okay. This shot was a let's say a five percent shot, and of course it was not a hit. Let's see, maybe a shot onto the STP one. No, maybe. On, ah, here go. Nice first shot onto the onto the. Uh, patent tank we go maybe another shot okay it doesn't look like so far the game is not going as desired with my spotting build but that's just how it is obviously in a concept 5 you cannot allow to play too aggressively over aggressively because you have no armor whatsoever but of course as my team is um, playing that aggressively I need to also advance and do something in order to help my team there's the Kunze Panzer now fortunately this tank was spotted by myself so I get at least a bit of spotting damage here nice another shot onto the Kunze Panzer and as I spot this tank I get a little at least a bit of spotting damage Okay, perfect. So Kunze Panzer has been taken out and I think there's now the chance to actually quit spotting and to proceed to the heavy lane and to help my team. Now, if you take a look at the minimap, you can see that there's a gap, um, which is basically the street going to the B0 position. And this is a great opportunity if there's no tank in the position where previously the Kunze Panzer has been situated has been uh, has been in and if this is the case then you can perfectly flank the remaining adversary heavy tanks and thus help your heavy tanks to actually win the heavy flank so that's what i like to do in this situation i think i can surprise this tank and take them out excellent now we only have an e100 which is hopefully not turning the turret towards my position let me see okay he's turning the uh, okay Yep, I had to quickly squeeze out squeeze out this shot. Now he's turning his turret towards me, but he's now taken out. Okay, perfect. So, so far, I'm uh, actually not on the spotting side, but I think it was um, a good idea to help my team to win the heavy flank. Meanwhile, our advance at the medium flank has come to a standstill, simply because, yeah, if you're pushing into a well-prepared defensive position, that you that is usually what happens. But... We can use our mobility in order to help my team to uh, create shots onto the Lorraine 40T. And after all, 
that's what I want to do. I want... Okay. Super unfortunate. I, I do not hit the shot. And meanwhile, I get a shot from the adversary RT. But I will soon, I will for sure be able to take him out. So, bam, here you go. And I think now it is crucial to once again hurry up. Same applies um, as uh, in the previous game. If you want to be the tank which is which is uh, collecting all the spotting damage, you have to arrive at the adversary position um, as the first tank. And so that's what I want to do. I still have 1400 HP to trade, so that's the situation in which I consciously want to trade all my HP in order to arrive at this position as being the first tank. And let's take one shot. Okay, unfortunately, of course, I do not um, penetrate the side of the T95 in if he is uh, angled like this. But uh, here we go. Nice. Okay, so this tank has been taken out. And now I think I will be able to make a bit more uh, spotting damage because I'm the first tank arriving at the adversary position. I cannot um, stress that enough. Because I see so many players um, not do any damage simply because they are waiting when it is crucial to hurry up. Now I want to keep this tank spotted. Um, and as I'm using my spotting build, I do not get spotted. I do not get spotted on my own. Um, of course, um, if I take a shot, then this will change, but I can perfectly fall back into cover in this position, so that is not a problem at all. And now, yeah, it's uh, simply my time to keep those tanks spotted for my team. Maybe make a bit of damage on my own. Unfortunately, the pattern tank is able to fall back. And now I need to wait 10 seconds until I'm not spotted anymore. But I will maintain in this position because our E100 is making pressure with capping. And so this team needs to move. And so no problem whatsoever now in this situation of course i can take a shot because i can fall back into cover and as this uh, tank will be spotted for approximately 10 seconds anyway i can easily fall back into cover and wait 10 seconds until i'm not spotted anymore so this is why i'm now happy to take shots in this position all right so will we get more assisting damage onto the t95 um, i think not because the k91 is a proxy spotting the T95. So I think we have to advance and um, simply make more damage onto the T95. Um, okay, our team is capping. We are winning the game. And uh, yeah, so in this situation, um, in this game, and that this can actually happen if you're playing a medium tank with your spotting build. I do not make a lot of spotting damage. I think Berlin is also not the best spotting map, but that's just how it is. Nonetheless, uh, we were successful with um, about 3.5k combined in the Concept 5. And I think overall in those three games, I could, I think, show you how important and how beneficial it can be to put out your spotting build on a medium tank. So if I were you, I would take out my, let's say, my favorite medium tanks and play them um, long enough to get the, um, to get a second build. And um, this way you are much more flexible with playing your medium tanks. And in, in uh, scenarios in which you have no light tank in the game, you will be able to basically fulfill the light tank role or at least the light medium hybrid role. And this will be super beneficial for your team. All right, guys, that was it for today with the video about using a medium tank as a medium light hybrid. What is your opinion about this topic? Do you also have your medium tank set up as a backup spotter? Do you think it is fair that medium tanks can use CVS? Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. This really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. If you find this video extremely helpful, then feel free to support me via Super Thanks. This way you can make a one-time donation. You just have to click this button underneath the video. If you adore this channel and you want to consistently support me, then consider subscribing to my channel or become a member once again with the click of a button underneath the video. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time in another World of Tanks video.